five minutes now, the main engines will cut off. Real barn burner, Jack. Three minutes going over 5,000 miles an hour now. We got some flights going by the window. We got some uh, just right after liftoff. Roger, that we crap copy, was Jack. ice. He said yeah. some flakes going by the window. It could have been ice crystals from the tank. Three minutes. Wizard out there. Uh, lots of white little flakes. Roger. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical mile altitude. Return status check and mission control by flight director Tom Holloway. All right, they're uh, three minutes and 40 minutes into the mission. As they move now across the Atlantic, there will be an actual dip in altitude, won't they, Gene? They, they dip down from about 60 miles for a very short period of time and gain a little bit more speed. It's just, just a, a more efficient handling of the trajectory. And moving at nearly max six, max seven. Number three, APU, we'll take a look at it. Four minutes, two seconds, standing by for negative return. Houston, stand by for negative return. Mark, your negative return. Negative that return. means they're not coming back yeah. here. Four minutes, 12 seconds. With that call up, Lousman and Fullerton committed to space travel. They can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. All right, that means they're going on their way. It does not mean they're in orbit yet, but no. it means they're, if they have to abort, they can go into Rota, and as they go on further, they've got uh, Okinawa, Hawaii. Just push right on uh, to Rota, right. Spain, as they say, press to Rota, which would be a long glide, about the longest ever they're accomplished. Coming up on 6,000 miles an hour, and we're 62 miles above the surface of the Earth, and that's only in four minutes and 45. All right, we want to show you a, uh, a replay now of this uh, truly spectacular launch. All is going well. What you're seeing is an animation, but what you're seeing now is a replay of uh, less than five minutes ago when those engines started and that wall of flame just seemed to lift it right off. That's what is so striking about a shuttle launch. It just goes up and that flame just stays there between the tail of the shuttle and the ground for so long. Look at that. This happened five minutes ago. As it went up first into the clouds, it was lost uh, to view here for a second and then emerged so spectacularly from the clouds again and went on into some more. Frank, the vibrations we felt here, I think, is greater, perhaps because of the atmospheric conditions than we've ever felt before. That's right. It really did shake the house, didn't it? Oh, yes. But that's kind of reassuring, Gene. You know? Well, it's, it's <laughs> exciting. It almost feels like, like we're lifting off. Yes. 42 seconds. Oh, there's a lot of body English down here at the gate. <laughs> well, those, they go. those main engines light off for about seven seconds early until they're all up to speed. But when those when those solid engines light, they go. Five minutes, 55 seconds. All right, let's Standing let's see it from another five, angle now, the uh, replay here of the launch. We are six minutes and five seconds into the mission. Here's another replay from a uh, somewhat uh, different angle farther away. The, the, the trail of fire and smoke uh, was continuous right down to the pad even when they were out of sight. It was just right. amazing. Hardly any wind up there at all. Oh, would, how would you like to be on that, Frank? Oh, Honestly, I can tell. Oh, oh yes. How, how could you not want to be on it? How could you not want to be on it? As it disappears and then comes out again from the clouds, we'll show you still another angle from a different camera position here at the Cape. Light them up and send her on her way. There they go. Six minutes and 50 seconds into the mission. What you're watching here is a replay. And Columbia then, is on her way. Oh, this is a different camera, see? What a quick spectacular. You can see it roll now to our right as we're uh, looking at it. Go, you just baby, turn go. around now. There it comes, and then she pitches out <laughs> over the ocean, and they go in on her back. All right, here is... Considering shutting down one of the auxiliary power units. I heard Gordo Fullerton say they had a slightly high pressure on one of the three auxiliary power units, which drive the hydraulics, which drive uh, the uh, uh, the engine uh, direction for guidance. But that should be no problem. Well, it was a malfunction of one of the APUs. Yes, it was. The last mission yes, it was. They were cut short early. Replaced one in... Uh, in we're uh, less than a minute away now from that main engine cutoff. They are shutting down that shutting uh, down. APU-3, which was one they changed the oil in. It that was not Captain the one they replaced. Hart telling the crew to shut where it's down located. APU-3. The uh, single-engine press to Miko call says that the crew can achieve normal engine cutoff targets even if two engines go out. 
Now, this doesn't mean that APU failed. It means they got a slightly high temperature. Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude, 630 nautical miles down range. G-force is building for Lousman and Fullerton coming up to three Gs. We're over 16,000 miles an hour at this Eight point. Eight minutes, 18 yes. seconds. Columbia's three main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 68% at six seconds before okay, main engine cut off. And they will just off. drift briefly then, won't they? Just for a moment. They'll cut, should cut off here in about Mark, a few seconds. Mark, 30 here. seconds. Standing by now for main engine cut off. Columbia now 6. This is Mako Houston, uh, 25.680 right at the button. And uh, 285 up. Roger, sounds like a good one. 25.680. Now they'll get rid of the tank. 46 time. seconds. Right. Confirm shutdown. Uh, Columbia again returned to space. Not yet returned to orbit. Okay. Standing by now for external tank set. Roger, set. Okay. Confirm external tank Inside separation. Jet, Jack just gave Nine me a... Two seconds. Uh, there's Columbia an animation now. now there's an old tank falling away. And, and tank. they do have orbital velocity. They're not quite in orbit because they got to add a little bit more energy to bring yeah. up the other side of their orbit. But Jack gave... Uh, over 25,000 feet per Nine second, minutes, which converted miles an hour is about 17,500 miles an hour. That's what they need to get in orbit. That's what they need to get in orbit, the the get in orbit but they, they will fire their, their ohms or their, their orbital maneuvering system to boost okay, the other yes, side of the orbit up so that they can stay in orbit. Columbia Houston, we concur. Your go for nominal ohms one. APU shut down on time. And that will happen in less than... Uh, Less than a minute now. Nine we'll minutes, 38 the seconds. We're going to go for uh, Ohms 1 and the AP sh APU shut down on time. But now they're operating uh, minus 1 APU. They're operating with two of the three. Nine uh, minutes, 50 seconds. Columbia now maneuvering to Ohms 1 burn attitude. Using the two 6,000-pound thrust engines, Ohms 1 will be posi-grade. Moving Columbia forward and higher order flight path, uh, placing Columbia into a limited lifetime orbit. They will not use those APUs until they get ready to come back. Yes. So there'll be a lot of soul searching on it, one, why the temperature went high. Again, I want to stress it didn't fail. It's got a slightly high temperature, and they shut it down. They made a quick decision to shut it down before anything else happened. Report, uh, it, it could be, uh, it, it could be attitude, a, an instrumentation it malfunction. It, it, it certainly could be. But could it lead, Gene, to, a, uh, to an early termination of the mission? It did the last time, didn't it? Well, it was a fuel cell last time. Uh, yeah. Conceivably, it could. They, they provide the, here's goes the Ohm's burn to boost them into a, a, a more sustaining orbit, the yeah. first Ohm's burn. And it's counting down. It's a one minute and almost 30 second burn. 10 minutes, 43 seconds. A prop uh, systems uh, controller reports ignition. Uh, two good engines. Now well, they're out. They started. They're started. They're out over the Atlantic. They haven't uh, Columbia quite hit the coast the of Africa. Ohm's burn now. Yes, it could, Frank. It, it certainly could lead perhaps to some questions of whether they should come early but they have three of them it, uh, there's, there's redundancy they don't need the three until they come back in to control the hydraulic services of the shuttle as it lands they're obviously very important well do they need the three really in order to come to come back i would venture to say they could probably could come down well, on they one came, they but came back certainly with two the last time well two fuel cells yeah and uh uh, they could, they could certainly operate on two without any problems. The question is what happens if another one fails. Real good. Going over the hill, we'll see you at Madrid. And All right, they're kind of saying farewell for the moment to the astronauts because they're going to lose uh, the signal from the Bermuda tracking station. They'll pick it up again uh, not very long from now when they uh, get within range of the uh, Madrid station. So we are 11 minutes and 50 seconds into the mission. All goes well, except, as uh, you say, Gene, uh, they have shut down one of the APUs. It's, it's uh, somewhat of a paradox. You know, we had an APU problem, yeah. replaced one of them. This is one of the two I believe we did not replace. And, uh, and this is uh, not the new one, then. This no. is, I believe, number one was replaced. And uh, number yeah. two and three had oil changes. And apparently, maybe uh, we've got to do some, uh, some more homework on those things. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait to find out whether this is really going to affect the mission uh, as it stands right now. But as of, as of this moment, we've had no indication that that will happen. We'll have more on the uh, flight of Columbia, the space shuttle, after this message and a word from our local station.